Some bad decisions, an exotic landscape, and a little passion. It's all in the pages of a new book by author Sandra Cusa, and she is here. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for asking me. I'm already excited because for today's page turners, we usually don't have food. So I'm very excited to talk to you. But you also have a really fascinating life. How did you come to fall in love with Brazil? Well, my husband was recruited to go to work down there. And so I went, we went for a two year stint and stayed for 21 years. Wow, so 21 years. 21 years. And this is, you were born in Kansas. I was. So how <laughs> it's a was long that? Way. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit far away. You have some pictures here we can take a look at. But, but tell us about Brazil, a completely different culture down there. It is completely different. And when you get down there, you don't really realize until you've been there about two minutes and heard them speaking in a language that you have no idea of what they're saying, <laughs> how very different Did it is. Did you pick it up? Uh, eventually. Yeah. Uh, eventually you pick it up. And um, sometimes you have lessons and sometimes you don't. It all depends on uh, who who is doing the hiring of your husband, whether you're oh. you have lessons or not. And so we're obviously seeing visual examples of the difference between central Illinois. We don't have that around here. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, I don't think you do. No, unfortunately. <laughs> but are there any similarities that you noticed over the years? Well, we lived in Sao Paulo, and there was a great deal of similarity in the people that we, that we knew as far as the culture of, went art museums, uh, symphonies, the, um, interestingly enough, they did a survey in Brazil of the two favorite pastimes of Brazilians, and they are shopping and talking. And okay. I think that's kind of similar to here. <laughs> I think we could relate to that around here, yeah. Yes. Um, so how did living in another country change you personally? Well, you, uh, after a while, and I think you have to live there a, a very long period of time because two years you're just getting acclimated. And then that's the period of time most people do stay. Uh, but if you live there for several years, you notice that um, you see America better, you see what it, other countries are more clearly because you have uh, a better understanding of another culture. Uh, there are enormous differences and you get to be very critical of the differences uh, that you didn't see before. Oh, interesting. And so you sort of used, it sounds like, some of your personal life experiences to write your new book, Passion Fruit. Tell us about how this came about. Well, it kind of like a lot of writers say, it sort of wrote itself because I looked around and you would see that a lot of the things that happened and the mistakes that happened were because when you get down there, you have no, the language is a big, is a big barrier. But also you don't realize that you're going to be very isolated. You don't have your family, your friends. So you realize that you're, you're quite alone. And whoever you have come with, your spouse usually, is at work and is, they don't have many problems because they were the ones brought down there. And so they, they don't have the problems that the, uh, the, uh, the spouse, usually the wife, has. And so you begin to react in different ways, some good and some bad, but none of them like you would in the States. So what, what genre would you put this book into? Because I know it mentions maybe there's an affair, there's a fish out of water scenario where mm -hmm. you don't know anyone. How would you classify it? Um, as far as, well, it's a novel that is a, a woman's novel, I, I would think, although I have had male friends that have read it and thought it was absolutely wonderful and accurate. And <laughs> I know, well, I, I, I really want to read it. I haven't read it yet, but, but I'm hoping. Oh, you must. I oh. hope you will. Okay, well, I think you've sold me on it, and there are some events that we can meet you coming up here. We have a book signing at Jane Addams Bookshop here in Champaign on October 11th from 2 to 3. And then there is also a book launch party at Radio Maria on October 18th, is it? Mm-hmm, that's right. There you go. From so 3 to 5. 3 to 5, and mm -hmm. that's great. And you can pick up the book there, I'm assuming. Yes, indeed, So at I either place. Okay, perfect. And I think we're going to have to get to this 
this cake. We're going to share the recipe on CI Living. Yes, TV. that's yes. And the cake came from a Brazilian cookbook that I wrote, and it is a corn cake. Corn cake. Well, we're going to munch into that, and we're going to hear a little bit more from the band. Thank you so much, Sandra. Well, thank you for inviting me.